Hello all, this is Nori from My Service Depot. Please note that the content you are about to view is meant as a generalization of the smart service job process as a whole. It is not directed at any specific industry or your company's personalized process. However, by learning the basics of smart service, we hope to give you a head start on our software. This series will be divided into five segments to ensure the best learning experience. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give us a call at 888-518-0818. You might also consider reviewing our process-specific tutorials at smartservice.com forward slash webinar. Or if you are interested in purchasing additional live training, please let us know. In this segment, we're going to take a look at smart service and how Office users make their way around the software. In the next video, we'll be talking about customer creation. Now, our first step to opening smart service is dependent on which version of QuickBooks you have. If your company uses a variation of QuickBooks Desktop, you must open QuickBooks and log in before you can log into smart service. If your business uses QuickBooks Online, you do not need to open anything before opening up smart service. When ready, click the Smart Service icon on your desktop to open up the program. Once Smart Service opens, click on the Open My Current Database option at the top of the list. This will present the login screen where you can find your username and enter your password. If you can't find your username, there's a default profile called Demo that you can use. To log in with this information, Demo will be both the login and password for the program. That's demo in all lowercase letters, by the way. Once you've made your way into Smart Service, there are a few sections you'll want to become familiar with to complete day-to-day -day activities. We can expand the menu button at the top left-hand corner of the screen to see our available options. When getting started, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the scheduler, contact search, and the office screen. We're going to take a look at the scheduling board first. If this is your first time logging in as yourself, you have some minor setup to do before you can use the schedule. Open the Smart Pane by clicking here. The Smart Pane provides information about the day you're looking at and information about any work order you click on. While we're here, click the Today button to be taken to the current date. Select the number of days you wish to view at a given time using this option above the Smart Pane. Lastly, Click here from Route View, which is one person at a time, to a Department View and select your department. It's easy to create appointments from the scheduler if you know where you want to place the appointment. Simply left-click and drag the mouse down to highlight a section of time, then right-click that section and choose what kind of event you'd like to create. We'll cover work order and estimate creation in the third video of the series. For now, let's continue learning how to navigate. If you click this drop-down menu, you can choose how you would like to color code the scheduler. You can choose an option that's best for you and switch between the options whenever you want. If you aren't sure what each color means yet, click this color key to open up the legend on the right-hand side of your screen. Another useful tool on the schedule is the waiting list. The waiting list stores work orders and estimates you aren't ready to put on the calendar yet. You can open the waiting list by clicking this button at the top of your screen. The waiting list will open at the bottom, displaying any appointments waiting to be scheduled. To add an appointment from the waiting list to the calendar, you can highlight a time on the schedule, and instead of right-clicking the highlighted section, right-click the job on the waiting list and choose Move from Waiting List to the selected time. Next, take a look at Contact Search, which acts as an address book where you can search for your customers. In the top left is the Search For field. You can search for any information you can gather about this customer. This could be their name, any part of their address, or phone number. You are not limited to searching for just customers either. You can click the Search In box to the right, which will allow you to search for any particular record type. You can also search for inactive records by clicking Show Inactives here. If you'd like to rearrange the columns presented on these screens, click the Columns button at the top right to view your options. This will display a window where you can add or remove items from the selected columns, which is what's being displayed on your screen. Highlight an area you wish to move and either use the arrow buttons in the middle to hide or display that column, or the arrows to the right of the selected columns to organize your screen. Once you've got things in place, click the Save button at the top. 
The column customizer will allow you not only to customize each record type screen, but it will also save your selected preferences to your user profile specifically. The last item we're going to take a look at today will be the office screen. Here we can access several options to communicate with our customers, create internal tasks like reminders, and view the post work orders option, which will be our last video in the series. For now, I wanted to mention this screen for those who are curious about emailing, calling, or texting customers, and those who are looking for tasks other users have assigned to them. This concludes our video on navigation in the essential screens available in Smart Service. If your business has completed your initial training classes, we recommend you review the videos of those classes for a personalized version of the contents contained within this quick start guide. Our next installment of this series will cover the process of creating customers and locations. If you're looking for in-depth process tutorials, please visit us at smartservice.com forward slash webinar.